Ari, something's telling me people like you more than me. Maybe I'm being irrational. I mean, not to rub it in your face or anything, but it's not called Ari animations. You don't even do anything. I'm the one doing all the animating and work. Don't give me that look. All you do is eat and scream. You... <laughs> it doesn't matter or anything. Okay, I'm just gonna run a little experiment for research purposes. It's not a competition. Just getting information. Doesn't hurt. Just a bit curious to see if I'm just overanalyzing the... Well, since you all just love Ari so much, why don't we just talk about him? No, I get it. Ari's cute. He's funny. He flings strawberries all over the place. Let's shift the spotlight to the star here. I don't think I've ever gotten into the origin story of getting Ari. So... I guess I should do that. Back when I was 12, I said to my mom, Mom, can we get a bird? I really, really, really like birds. Have you seen that one video of a bird in a rabbit costume? It's pretty great. And she said, Okay, you can get a bird when you move out. Wait, but- And that was my life plan for the next six years. In my old 100k video, there's even a bit of foreshadowing if you picked up on that. Oh, you wanted this bird. I still want a bird, but not this one. I actually got Ari before I officially moved out, but that's because I was planning to live with some friends, plans ended up falling through, and things were already confirmed with the bird lady. But that turned into an ironic situation because after getting Ari, guess who started falling in love with him? My mom even started to collect Ari's feathers in a little baggie. I'm not sure why. It's not like Ari's gonna be short on feathers anytime, ever. The moral of the story is, if you want a thing and your mom says no, get it anyway and trick her into liking it so when you move out and take it with you, it's the ultimate revenge. You probably think Ari's just a sweet little angel who eats a lot and pushes things off counters. Well, let's all get on the same page here, because you're wrong, very incorrect. The best way to describe Ari is a brat. I love him. But he's a brat. Actually, no. Ari's just the embodiment of a toddler. Constantly wanting attention and food. And if he doesn't get it, he screams. Isn't that just the sound of love? Stop! <laughs> Ari also gets really jealous. Since we spend so much time together, he's definitely bonded to me. If anyone gets in the way of us, then he starts getting really aggro and puffs up as if that's threatening anyone. When I was living with my parents, my mom would come into my room and kiss me goodnight, and he would just stare at her. Who does this human think it is? I will end them. Ari sees my mom as competition for my love. He doesn't like her. Ari's actually pretty shy. He's only comfortable with me and Jack so far. Everyone else, he's all, nope, like physical nope. No, look. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> he's like leaning. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Dave, you want Ari to lean away from you? Ah! <laughs> I also want to bring up the fact that Ari just decides not to like random objects. Like nail filers, those are pretty high up on his hate list. He doesn't like it when I use hair products. He doesn't like it when I refill his water. Hate what you want, Ari, but I think you should be a little bit more grateful that I'm giving you water. Just trust me on that one. Despite being a jealous little punk, Ari does have his golden moments. One thing that he's fascinated by is drawers. I don't think Ari really understands the concept of how drawers work. I can only assume he sees them as little pockets of universes that appear and disappear at random intervals. Because this is pure confusion and interest if I've ever seen it. Same with mirrors. Aries are typically very intelligent, but most of them don't recognize their reflection, which we can all laugh at. I asked on Twitter if you had any Ari questions, so let's get into those. James said, does Ari have sharp talons? Actually, it's been a while since I got Ari's nails done, so we should go do that. Thanks for reminding me, James. We're going to get your nails done. You excited? Scratching your head real good. Oh yeah. 
that a good scratch? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is Ari called Ari because we're in Arizona? I've gotten that question a lot and <laughs> it's funny. I think it's about time I address it. No. Does Ari flip upside down? And then they show a picture of their Ari. First of all, aw. Second of all, hi. Yes. Is Ari secretly making the animations? No, the pen is bigger than his entire body. Does Ari like mangoes? Yes. When I was younger, my family had a son, Kanye. He was not a quiet bird and got pretty loud. So how loud does Ari? Shh. Does Ari like music? He tries to sing but has no rhythm and is pretty tone deaf. <laughs> Cause you're fucked and I wanna savor it. Is Ari friends with the toucan? Yes. Ari, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Can you speak? No. What words? He can't speak. Am I Baka for having a crush on Ari? <laughs> Me no Baka. Choo! Yikes. Can Ari play the piano? No, he's not heavy enough to press any of the keys down. Is taking care of a bird difficult? Okay, holding the jokes for a sec here. I get this question a lot and it's kind of important. It's not difficult, but there's routines you definitely need to adapt into your life. I'm not the most public with how to get your own Ari because as fun and amazing as they may seem, obviously. Proper Ari care is important and I want people to do their own research before getting one. It's pretty common for people to impulsively decide to get an Ari and then not care for them correctly by either not having a good cage, giving them improper diet, neglecting it, stuff along that line. They need love. Aries aren't meant to sit in the corner as decoration for their entire life. Before you get an Ari, it's really important you do research on what type of Ari best suits your lifestyle, how much attention you can give it every day, proper health and care needs, all that lifestyle stuff. Act like you're getting a child. There's a lot of similarities. You're gonna have to spend time with it. They'll be relatively expensive. They might bite you. There's a chance they'll be living with you for around 18 years, more or less, depending on the type of Ari. People don't impulsively get children. Well, not intentionally. If anything, they can accidentally get stuck with them, but that's not really an issue with getting Aries. So if you've seen Ari and you are okay with it being jealous and a brat and little punk and you still want one, do your own research and don't ask me. I'm not a professional. I don't know why people keep thinking I'm professional at anything, but I'm doing pretty good with the information I took the time to find and learn about. So, yeah. Now let's end the video with some miscellaneous footage of Ari being Ari. No one likes a peeping Tom. Alright, I'll let you in. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't. Ah! Wow. Wow. <laughs> Hello. You brought a rice? over there on Lonely Island. Is that right? Are you angry? Are you angry because you want to be over here? We don't all get what we want now, do we? You're just screaming by yourself on the top of the tower. <laughs> you stealing some peanut butter? Is that good? <laughs> Hey, ah, what are you- Oh.
I was talking to some friends and we were trying to figure out why birds were such derpy meme animals, and they mentioned the fact that it might have to do with them having no arms, which makes everything they do really funny. So now that they've said that, I can't unsee the fact it's funny birds have no arms. I'm, I'm not saying that people with no arms are funny. I... Okay. I like when you look at a bird from the very front of their face and you can see both their eyes bulging out the sides of their head. I think that's really funny. Not to make fun of people whose eyes are bulging out the sides of their head. Normally people tweet at me with random references to my videos like half popped popcorn or if they see my toucan in Target. But my favorites are when people send me pictures of their birds. Keep sending those. Same with dogs. Send dogs. Those are good as well. Do any of you have sugar gliders? I think those are cool. If you have a weird exotic pet, Send me a picture of them. I want to see them. That's a demand. Okay, bye. I'm done now.